I'm going to be attempting to launch a Saturn V today, but before that, I'm going to launch this little bird here, which is just a out of the box bike. We go in five, four, three, two, one. Yep, she's prevailing exactly where I expect her to. Tuesday, July 16th, 2019. Papillion, Nebraska, Jay Kolodek flying his ST's 1969 Saturn V kit on a E30-4T composite motor made by Estes. This is the first flight. It's going to be the only flight. If this goes off, great. If not, it was nice knowing this rocket. I put a lot of hours into this rocket and it's beautiful. But, it's still a rocket. It needs to fly. Which is why I'm here today. On the 50th anniversary of the launch of Apollo 11. The range is clear. Winds are calm. Although my Pathfinder launch did do a pretty good job revealing what direction the winds are going aloft. Arming key is installed. We'll like to use Jack King's audio, but this is more special. 15 seconds and counting. Guidance is internal. 12, 11, 10, 9, ignition sequence start, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. One shoot. Partial. Upper stage shoot is more of a streamer, but it's slowing it. Well, that, my friends, was a successful flight. I wind-cocked her slightly and she basically took off right over my head. When the chutes popped, uh, one of them unfurled right away on the main. The second one unfurled a little bit later. The, uh, the 18 inch chute on the upper stage was a little more of a streamer, but she landed successfully. I don't dis discern any damage on the main body tube or the, uh, or the upper section. The escape tower popped off, but it basically broke right along the glue seams. It held on for the boost, and all things considered, I can reattach it. This model is officially retired from flight. That is all.